Number 10. Punched to Death An aspiring rap artist was killed over a measly $5 bet. He wasn't killed on purpose, but instead punched to death by a woman who the police then tried to bring up on charges of murder. The murderer in this case is Tiffany Starks, a woman with such a mean right hook that a single punch to the face caused John Fatboy Powell to fall over dead. Yet the only reason she punched John was to help him earn $5. Somebody else at the party was offering five bucks to anyone who would take a punch from a female. John, wanting to be a tough guy, agreed to let any girl punch him in the face for the money. Tiffany, wanting to get in on the action, agreed to do it. But that was when it all went wrong. After John was punched, he collected his five dollars, walked away to talk with a group of friends, and collapsed just seconds later. It was from a burst artery in his neck. He was rushed to the hospital, where doctors declared him deceased. An autopsy then ruled that he died from a brain hemorrhage. Tiffany, just 5'5", five five, cleaned his clock so good with one punch, his brain basically exploded. Tiffany was charged with reckless conduct, and so too was the guy who offered the $5 bet in the first place. But later on, Tiffany was ultimately acquitted of any murder charges. Number 9. The Chewbacca Birth As part of a wager, a woman agreed to wear a Chewbacca mask while she gave birth to her baby. Her name is Katie Stricker Curtis. As she gave birth to her son Jaden, she screamed behind the face of Chewbacca. Even more hilarious, she allowed herself to be filmed while having some very painful contractions with a mask on her face. From the outside, it almost looks as if she's laughing rather than screaming. How did she get roped into such a strange situation? It happened near the end of her pregnancy. For Christmas, her brother bought her the Chewbacca mask and suggested that she laugh all the way through labor. Nobody thought she would do it, but she proved them wrong. Her doctors, the nurses, and everybody at the hospital thought it was hilarious. And in the end, the silliness of having her baby while dressed like Chewbacca really helped everything go a lot smoother. It must be true what they say. Laughter really is the best medicine. Number 8. Savage Purification After a man in India lost a bet to some friends, he agreed to hand his wife over to them for a night of fun. It's just as bad as it sounds. He didn't have the money to pay for his gambling debt that he acquired while making bets with his group of buddies, so he offered them his wife to do whatever they wanted with for the night. When his wife refused, he became so angry that he threw acid on her. But it gets even worse. At first, the wife didn't refuse. She agreed to do what her husband said, until about the fourth time. Then she decided enough was enough, and she would no longer entertain his pals. That was when he threw acid on her. He told police later that he wanted to purify her because she wouldn't listen to him. But the acid didn't do any kind of purification. It simply melted her face. Luckily, the woman was able to get away from her psychotic husband and run to a police station, and he has since been arrested. Number 7. Killed by the Kansas Police A couple of kids who made a $2 wager on a match of Call of Duty ended up getting an innocent stranger gunned down by the Kansas Police. As unbelievable as that is, it really happened. When police officers in Wichita were sent to a fake shooting call, orchestrated by two Call of Duty players who were nowhere near the scene, a man was blown to pieces. It's part of a phenomenon called swatting. It's when one person makes a false report to the police that ends up bringing them to somebody else's house. It's become a huge issue in the streaming community, specifically on Twitch. But normally, it just results in a lot of confusion not a completely innocent person dying. Shane Gaskill and Casey Viner were the ones betting on the match. After they got into an argument, Casey was so mad that he asked internet troll Tyler Barris to swat Shane for him. But he got the address partly wrong. The address that the guys got a hold of was indeed Shane's house, but it wasn't occupied by him. Shane was renting it to a man named Andrew Finch. Andrew had no idea what was going on. When Tyler phoned the police and told them that there was an active hostage situation at the house, the police moved in, believing they were dealing with a madman with a gun. Andrew knew nothing about it. He opened the door to the police completely oblivious, and the police didn't ask any questions before opening fire and shooting him to death in the doorframe. And yes, the Kansas police have since gotten into a whole heap of trouble over it, but so too have the Call of Duty players who are looking at serious jail time for the prank gone wrong. Number 6. Aeroflot Flight 6502 
Aeroflot Flight 6502 was a domestic passenger flight going from the Soviet city of Sverdlovsk to Grozny on October 20th, 1986. But before the plane ever touched down, it crashed and killed 70 out of the 94 of the passengers and crew. When investigators looked into what caused the accident, they determined it to be negligence on the behalf of the pilot. It all went down, literally, because of a bet the captain made with the first officer. Captain Klyuyev made a bet with the first officer, Zhirnov, as they approached the airport that he could make the approach using nothing but the instruments and closing the cockpit windows. What this means is he put curtains over the windows of the cockpit and relied on nothing but his instruments to make contact with the ground. It was a complete disaster. Air traffic control warned the pilot that he was getting too close to the ground at an altitude of just 200 feet, but he didn't make the necessary adjustments. The aircraft hit the runway at 150 knots and flipped upside down. Pretty much everybody on board died immediately. 63 people died instantly upon impact, while seven more perished later in the hospital. Among the passengers, it was surprisingly 14 children who survived. As for the pilot, the one who lost the worst bet in history, he was given 15 years in prison, but later had his sentence reduced to six with time served. Do you think six years in jail is enough for the incidental murder of 70 people? He may not have intended to kill them, but he definitely did, and all because of a stupid bet. Let us know your thoughts in the comments, and don't forget to hit subscribe before the end of the video. Number 5. Faking Death A man in Bangladesh lost a bet on a cricket mat of $1,800. He made the bet without thinking he could possibly lose, and he didn't have the money to pay it. When he realized how much trouble he was in, he decided to fake his own death and have it posted on social media platforms. He and some friends hired a makeup artist and part-time videographer to film him being murdered. In the video, three people can be seen attacking the man and then slitting his throat. But it wasn't blood that came out, it was red fruit juice syrup. With his murder documented, he had the video uploaded to social media by an anonymous source. He also made sure that the person he owed money to for the bet received the video in his inbox. But you know who else got the video? The police and his relatives. A search was underway for his corpse, with his parents panicking and the police frantic to catch the killers. It was total chaos. But the police aren't dumb and soon figured out what happened. They arrested the makeup artist who spilled the beans. Then they captured the man who faked his own death and charged him with illegal betting. Betting is actually illegal in Bangladesh and it's a big enough crime that you can go away for years just for making a single wager. Number 4. Betting Behind the Wheel the driver of a truck was using his mobile phone to place bets when he drove over a beloved dad of four. His name is Dean Moffat, and the bet he placed was only $20. He just couldn't wait until he stopped his truck. He had to put money down on a Greyhound race now. He made the bet as he drove along the A34 near Winchester in England. For the Americans watching, the A34 is basically an interstate. It wasn't the first time he bet while driving. After all, as a truck driver, he spent almost all his time on long journeys across the United Kingdom. People who know him told police that he was often placing bets, reading emails, and even scrolling through Facebook while behind the wheel. He even told the police that using his phone never distracted him before, and yet it obviously did. 14 minutes after the crash, he deleted the betting applications on his phone. He knew what he did was wrong. As his eyes were on the screen, desperately trying to make some money off a Greyhound race, he plowed into Rick Mbomba. Rick had broken down on the side of the road and had just finished getting a spare tire out of his trunk. That was when Dean Moffat drove over him, right in front of his two teenage children. Rick had been driving his 19-year-old daughter to university when he got a flat. But instead of going to school, the poor girl had to watch her dad get run over by a gambling addict. Number 3. Losing the Kid in India, a woman divorced her husband after she found out that he'd lost their son gambling. The man has been identified in local reports only as Motion, a resident of New Delhi. He was a locally known gambling addict, notorious for digging himself into seriously deep holes. But the last hole proved too big to climb out of. He had actually bet his entire family, meaning if he lost, he would have handed over his wife and both of their children. But he managed to talk the guy down to just one of his kids which honestly seems like a pretty generous offer. Sadly, the child is gone. He 
he was handed over as part of the bet, and nobody has seen him since. The woman, when she found out, went to the police, but they refused to take the case. She had to file a petition at a district court, and it took two years before investigators finally agreed to look into the matter, but last we heard, no headway has been made. The only silver lining is that the wife was luckily able to divorce her husband and marry a younger man. Hopefully the new husband won't try to give her and the kids away as part of a bet gone wrong. Number 2. Unpaid Debt In the Canadian province of British Columbia, Andrew Barry was recently on trial for murdering his two daughters, Aubrey Barry, 4 years old, and Chloe Barry, 6 years old, were discovered stabbed to death in their apartment on Christmas Day 2017. The main suspect was their father, Andrew, whom the police found full of stab wounds bleeding out in the apartment bathtub. The trial went on for five years. Andrew Barry claimed that he would never have killed his own daughters and gave an alternative account of what happened. The Crown prosecutors alleged that Andrew used a baseball bat and knife to massacre Chloe, then just the knife to stab Aubrey to death before filling herself with stab wounds. But he said that somebody with dark skin and dark hair broke into the apartment, killed his daughters, and then left him for dead. He said that he owed a massive gambling debt to a loan shark named Paul. He claimed that he had a very serious gambling addiction and that the loan shark killed his family to settle up what was owed. But in the end, the jury didn't believe him. After five long years, Andrew was found guilty on two counts of second-degree murder and sent to jail. We'll never know if he really did have outstanding deaths, but the jury definitely didn't believe the story. Number 1. Shaking a Baby Mark Lackenby lost a bet and shook a baby. There's really no easy way to say that. The 32-year-old father had put up a bet on Arsenal's Champions League match against Barcelona that Arsenal's Robin van Persie would score the first goal. But as he was watching the game on TV with his five-week-old daughter Ruby, he lost. He watched as Barcelona's David Villa scored the first goal instead. Mark was so furious that he picked up his baby daughter and shook her in anger. He shook her so hard that she suffered from catastrophic brain injuries. Tragically, she died the next day. This was a horrific case, and luckily Mark was sentenced at the Sheffield Crown Court to 10 years in jail for manslaughter. He escaped the murder charge, but was still guilty of the killing. He was also found guilty of causing grievous bodily harm from a previous incident the week before the fatal injuries, in which he had broken the child's ribs. Clearly, this guy should not be having babies. And he will be able to now, at least not for the next decade. Thanks for watching. What's the biggest bet you've ever lost? Let us know all about it in the comments, and don't be embarrassed. If you liked the video, remember to hit subscribe and come back soon for more. See you next time. Bye.